Good evening, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages. I'm Chris Bazil alongside Nathan Detouche. We are here for the Brockton High season opener against the St. John's Pioneers from Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. So, Nathan, how you doing? Season over, how you feel? I'm good, man. I'm good. This, is, this looks like a good game here. I'm expecting a lot from the Brockton Boxers and St. John's. Hopefully they do good. Hopefully both teams play it out with good sportsmanship and they both play a good game. That's really cool. Or who do you from Brockton High? Who do you think is going to be the impactful player? Who do we who do we need to step up and contribute the biggest? Uh, I think um, I don't know, man, because there's some good people. I think Marcinell might have a good game tonight. I yeah, Marcinell, yeah. yes, the returning player. Yes. Yeah, of course, he has to show out. All right. Now here's the following tip. Yep. St. John's wins it. Another good game. St. John's trying to create some space. Yes. St. John's controlling the ball. Yep. Looking like a lay. Okay. Rebounded by Navon Reed. Now here's Navon. Here's Jason Stutz for three. Sunny nice open, nice open look, but Sunny not with good. The rebound. Okay. Yeah, Sonny is right. another returning player. He's he's yes. actually he's actually suffering from that loss against Manfield last year. Yes, I think Sonny though. Sonny will come back. Sonny will come back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here's Sonny. Foul. Foul on the play. There's two shots for Sonny. Doesn't get the first one. Sonny and Kula, what do you like most about his game, by the way? Sonny, he's just a he's just an offensive star. Like he's just he's just very big in the paint, and he gets the second free throw. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Sonny has a lot to show for. He has a lot. He has a lot to bring to this team. That's definitely true. Yes. TJ Power on the pick and roll. Off the leg of a Brockton player. That over St. John's will retain possession. That's Bobby Duquette controlling the game for St. John's. Shot clock is winding down for St. John's. The shot, no good. But the putback is good. That was TJ Power for his first point. Brockton bringing it up. Jason Starks Jason. for three. No good Jason again. Starks makes it again. Retains the ball. Mar Marcinell Lewis Charles. Marcinell. 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 Nice take. Yes. Nice take by nice Marcinell. A nice take by Marcinell. Indeed. T. 
TJ Power on the drive against Nkunla. Well defended by Nkunla. And the call is against the Pioneers, going Brockton's way. Todd Robinson running the point guard position. Marcinel, Marcinel with the ball again. Ah, he, lo ah, he loses the ball. But it'll stay with Brockton. Yes. This may just be a close game today. Maybe a close game. Brockton has coming off a victory against Charleston. Indeed, that was a good game too. Nave Henry with the ball. Looking to see what he's going to do. Looking to drive in. And he misses it off. Yep. And Jason starts on the rebound, on the inbound. Marcin now. Looking to give it to Sonny. Sonny, Sonny goes up. Sonny goes up. Sonny Okunla acting like a big boy in the paint. Looking to do a lot in his return. Looking to do it a lot. Three of the five points for Brockton. Yes. TJ Power on the shot. He's fouled. And TJ Power on um, Nathan. He's, in, he's involved in the offense early. Indeed, he is. He's looking to, looking to get the points up, I see. Most certainly. He's going to take his first free throw. Gets it off. TJ Power connects on both free throws. Indeed. And Jason Stark steps out of bounds. The ball's going the other way. Both teams looking to be aggressive already early in this game. They're both, teams which is are good. Certain, both teams are certainly aggressive already. Indeed. Power T for three. TJ Power. No good. Because Jason Starks. It's Todd Robinson with the shot. Robinson. He doesn't get it off. Bobby Duquette. Stolen by Navon Reed. His bracket on the transition. Back Navon to Reed. With the, ooh. ooh. It looks like a hard foul. Fell pretty hard. Yeah. He gets up pretty fine, though. Navon Reed, also another returning player from last year. They're doing good. I mean, they have a lot of returning players, so hopefully they, they get to the hopefully they get to the state this year. Yeah, hopefully, yes. Navon looking to take his first free throw. Gets it off. Navon's first point of the game. We're gonna have some substitutions in the game. Substitution for Brockton as Marquise DeSantos checks in for Jason Starks. Jason Starks sort of seemed a little bit um erratic, a little out of the behavior. What do you think about his so far on I think Jason team. Starks was playing okay, but they had to take him out early so we can get some more playing time from the players. Hopefully they can pick up for what Jason Starks has done so far. No problem, yeah, most certainly. Bobby Duquette with the no good shot. Marcino with the rebound. Todd brings it up, oh, loses the ball, but he gets it right Todd back. Robinson. Marcinelle with the mid-range, and he doesn't get it off. Sonny with the rebound. Wow. And Sonny Okunla, he's looking like a baby Shaquille O'Neal. What do you think about his game so far? Sonny, Sonny is just a favorite at Brockton High. Sonny is a favorite. He, everyone likes him, and everyone likes his game. Okunla, he's fouled again. No, he actually travels this time. Shovels his feet a bit. Yep, St. John's with the ball. A good by block by Nathan. Ooh. Todd Robinson, he's blocked. He's blocked. Back to back blocks. TJ yeah, Power TJ brings Power. it up.
Todd Robinson. Marcinel. Marcinel, two turnovers early. He's looking, he's looking aggressive, but a little, little, a little, little shaky. What do you think about his play so far? I think Marcinel will come back. I think Marcinel will come back. He knows, he knows how to get his game up, so right. it'll be good. Bobby Duquet on the fadeaway shot, no good. Rebound, no good. Good rebound, good rebound by the boxers. Diamond Blakely checked in for the game for Brockton. He should be graduating in the year 2021. Here's Bobby Duquet. That was a nice bucket. A good aggressive layup. By that was Owen Marrera. Here's the shot. And here's Tajan Silva. Nice take by Tajan Silva. No good. Doesn't get it off. It's looking like an aggressive game. Another putback by Owen Marrera. Four four quick points for him. Kick ball, yeah. and it's a foul. A foul against Bobby Duquette, and that'll stay Brockton's way. On Bobby? There's Navon Reed deciding on a play. Marquise De Santos. Marquise has a great IQ for this team. It really brings it up. Yes. Zendin Carrera gets the basket. Zendin, that's another favorite. That's another, that's another. Man. Zendin Carrera with powerful offense. There's Marquise De Santos with the shot for three. Oh, blocked by that's, Carrera. That's a good block. And here's Dos Santos to Silva. Silva finishes. Beautiful layup, beautiful layup. Oh, another that's block, another Carrera. Block. This time they call it a foul. That's a pretty. They just, they called it a foul. And that was a beautiful layup, a beautiful layup. Boxers already looking to do dirty damage already. Yeah, the boxers are looking pretty aggressive. But what did you think about that um that block, so-called block on Zenden Carrera? That's called the foul. Zenden, it, looked, it looked pretty clean to me. It looked that was all a, body. That looked like a clean block. The refs did not see. Yeah, that was a no hand. Yeah, no hands, no nothing. He didn't touch anything. Yeah, that was a clean block. I agree with you. That's a pretty questionable call. I think. But for me, the refs need to wake up a little bit. But Charles Daniels of the Pioneers misses the first free throw. Here's Daniels on, a, on his second attempt. He's going to have to make this to make it a closer game. Daniels makes the second. There's Diamond Blakely. Blakely. It's good. It's a good layup. Good, it's a good floater. Good floater. A nice floater by Blakely. His older brother, Jalen, I believe, or his cousin, actually played for Brock back in earlier. You know, several years before. Several years before, I did not know that at yes. all. He's probably. But related. if he plays just, but if he plays just like him, then I'm pretty sure that they they both did some damage on this team. Yes, Jalen Blakely was a great player. For Looks like it's getting a bit heavy out there. Is the inbound pass? Nathan Bangaduzu, TJ Power, the big man. Back to Charles Daniels.
That was a good take, but he doesn't get it off. TJ Power for the mid-range, no good. A great rebound, Zendon Carrera. Navon Reed behind the back. Couldn't finish. Zendon on the putback. Beautiful and one. one. And Be one. Beautiful and one. Zendon Carrera is going to go to the line. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful. You you played with Zendon at the local Brockton YMCA. Tell me about his game. What do Zendin, you like about it? Zendon's a great player. He's a great teammate to have, man. and especially if you're if you're facing against him, man, you do not want to get in his paint. He will he will destroy you. Certainly a good shooter as well. Indeed, he's working on his shot. He's working on his shot. Zendon sinks the free throw. It's a good free throw by Zendon. An early six point lead for Brockton. St. John's trying to attack. St. John's look, looking like they're stumbling right now. Power on the mid-range, no good. Another missed shot by Power. Here's Zendin Carrera. He'll make it again. Zendin with the nice, the nice floaters. I'm feeling Zendin tonight. I'm feeling Zendin tonight. I'm feeling him too. He's, he's certainly feeling it. Oh, nice defense by Diamond Blakely. That was good defense. It was beautiful when Zendon ran it up with that floater. Zendon already doing damage in this game. And a call on the play and looks like they're discussing it. Talk about what happened here, Nathan, on this play. Looks like they're discussing it. It looks like Zendon grabbed the arm of the other player. It looks like the refs are discussing it right now. Uh, seems to be a foul, I believe, on the play. I don't think they're going to take the basket that they just took. A lot of discussion on the court. Wonder what's going to happen. Just 0.4 seconds remaining in the first quarter. A shot. No good. But it is an eight point lead for the boxers. First. First quarter, first, first, quarter. first quarter is done. What did you think of the first quarter, Nathan? That was a good first quarter. The boxers, they just did some incredible offense. Their defense was on spot. Two blocks by Zenon Carrera. One of the blocks they did not count. They counted as a foul. But I feel that that was a clean block. But so far, they're being aggressive on the, in the paint, and it's, it's amazing. What do, what do St. John's need to do to sort of get their momentum jo alive? They need, St. John's need to create some more space. They need to get their shooters out more, more open, and they just, need to, they just need to beat the boxers in the paint. Yes. But so far, this is looking like the boxers right now. Looking like the boxers right now to me too. I think I think this home I think this home crowd of the boxers is strongly with them. A, a, a lot of people here. The home crowd. Oh, the boxers home crowd. You you can't even say anything. It's just that's just it. You yeah. just gotta look at it. Okay. So much support. These beautiful plays in the first quarter. The, the first quarter was full of beautiful so highlights. Ooh. Those blocks, Navon all those blocks, those play. layups. It was just amazing, aggressive ball. All aggressive. We are, we are back for a second quarter action in Brockton, Massachusetts. Is the Santos for three? Too short. St. John's looking to pick it up. Charles Daniels with the possession. Got to retain. I believe that was off the leg of some of a boxer player. Yes. By Kim Nichols and Sonny Akunla check back in. Sonny Akunla checks back in and By Kim Nichols checks in as well. Yeah. 
Nice defense by the boxes. A nice shot. Wide open. Nice shot. And it bangs the three. It connects for Lucas Sanfrentello. That'll reduce the deficit to five points. The ball was stolen. And I hear St. John's. Ooh, a missed layup. Looking to run it down. That was a good nice left layup. hand. Good left hand. Nice layup by Trenton Biddle. So far, this is in the boxer's favor right now. Ooh. Almost dropped the layup that'll go to the line for two. I don't think this was a this was looks like a hard foul over here. But he will go to the line for two. Owen Marrera Owen Marrera sinks the first one. Owen Marrera is a freshman for St. John's. A freshman playing varsity, that's good. That's pretty that's pretty good. That's really good. Misses on the second. Sonny Okunla with the rebound. Todd Robinson, no good. Rebound by Nichols. Another rebound. Josiah Davis, back to Davis. Need to get these points off. Okunla is blocked by TJ Power. off the boxer, so we'll go back to St. John's. Jason starts and Avon Reed check back in for Brockton. Stolen by Todd Robinson. Here's Todd Robinson on the break. Starks for another three. For the three, and he doesn't get it off. Starks, I believe, is 0 for 3 from three. And the boxers are going to take it back. The boxers will take it back. And Jason Starks, he just loves to shoot the ball. Jason Starks, yeah, Jason Starks loves to shoot the ball. She needs to connect him more. And that's a nice layup. As Navon Reed scores the layup. Bobby Duquette misses the layup rebound. Misses the layup. Now here's Todd Raven. He'll take it. Oh. And that was. It was a clean block. A nice block. Laid it up gets by easy, Owen Marrera. That's the easy layup. Sonny with the shot. He doesn't get it through. TJ Power for the layup, no good. Another rebound by Nkunla. He has just Jason Starks right in the corner. And Jason Starks will pass it this time. He has Josiah Wide Davis. Wide open for the mid-range. It's Takes nice, it. it's good. He gets it through. Boxes are up by eight right now. Playing hard defense. That was good defense. His Just created some John's space. For three. It was good space, but they didn't get the three through. It's Navon Reed. He'll take it. A big rebound. A big layup by Navon Reed. Now they're up by 10. The boxers are doing good this second quarter. And it's a timeout. Yeah, timeout for St. John's. St. John's looks a, look a little overwhelmed. What do you think about their play? St. John's, they're looking kind of tired right now on the, on the defensive side. They're, they're sprinting up and down the court, and it's crazy because 
boxers are really giving the money what their money's worth for. And I, and I, I strongly believe Brogdon has a little bit of size on them, like that, re, like that layup on uh, by Navon Reed. Yeah, it's not have, much size from. Yeah, St. our Johnson team is filled with big men, big, big body men, and we're just, we just destroying them in the paint because that's all we have right now is all of them in the paint. Yeah, most certainly, Sonny Okunla with with multiple rebounds. Zendin Carrera with some shots. We have some big, we have some skilled big men that can play. Yep, especially with Sunny, especially with Sunny and Zendin. They're just, they're just carrying the team right now. It's good. It's going on. Especially Navon Reed. Navon Reed is doing tremendous right now. And Navon Reed is playing an outstanding game. It's only going to get better. Brockton has the confidence. They have the swagger, and they just gotta, they just gotta continue to play hard. 10-point game so far in the second, with about 3.55 to go in the second quarter. Yep, boxers getting their game plan ready to finish off the second quarter. It's a pretty good first half, but yep. for the boxers. Looking to end it off strong. They seem to be shooting a pretty high percentage, honestly. Yeah. They haven't missed it's as much doing, shots. Yeah, it's doing good right now. Now, after the timeout break, here's Charles Daniels on the inbound. To Bobby Duquette, defended by Diamond Blakely. A foul is called against Brockton. Is it going to be two at the line? There will be two at the line. A nice free throw, all net. San Fratello takes his time and makes both free throws. Diamond Blakely. Sonny, you're looking to destroy in the paint again. Akunla. And he does it. A beautiful layup by Akunla. Looking like Sonny's game right now. Looks like a foul. How about this lay by Nkula, Nathan? Sonny's just a Sonny's doing so good in the pair. Now this looks like his game right now. No one's taking the ball away from him, and he's looking to destroy more. Just too big and too strong for mm -hmm. And Coach Bowen's going to give Nkunla a break as Tajian Silva checks in. Another foul is on the play. That foul against is against St. John's. A lot of fouls being committed by both teams. Yes, this has been a pretty physical one so far. Indeed. And that's what I like to see, physical basketball. Tajan Silva on another layup. He misses that Doesn't one. Doesn't get it through. <laughs> Looks like some confusion on the floor. Yeah, the referee is trying to sort something out. like to be St. John's ball. There's a little bit of a confusion on the floor. Not, not only confusion with us, but confusion with the whole entire arena. Nobody knew what was happening. He's gonna pick the game, game up again. Game resumes play. A foul is called. A foul call on the boxers. The foul against, the foul is against Marcina Lewis Charles. The refs are not on the boxer side today. All right, good layup. Good layup by St. John's. TJ Power with a nice layup. Navon Reed. 
It looks like a blocking foul. A blocking, blocking foul. foul and two shots. That was a good fake. They had both. He had both players jumping. St. John's had the free easy point. Two nice, points by TJ. Nice converted by TJ Power. And he gets that first free throw. Devon Reed makes the first. It's that easy second free throw. A 10 point game for the boxers. With about 2.30 to go. It looks in like the, the, in the, the, boxers, the boxers are playing full court press right now on St. John's. It's pretty smart. No, that's pretty smart. They're to not do. letting up on them. Do not let up at all. Do not give them any free space at all. And, and that was a, ooh, I think that was a block. Another foul was called. And Nathan, Nathan, it these players, they can't seem to keep it clean. What's up with the players so far? Why is it so physical for Oh, them? it's just a physical game. That's all you got to say. It's just basketball. It's just basketball. That's pretty much it. Can't say anything else about that. Ooh, and it was I a clean block. And they saying it's they stepped out of bounds. And here's Ooh, and a wow. good block. That is a good block. Tajan Silva on the block. Tajan with that aggressive block. That's what I like to see from the boxers. Brockton was already about four blocks today. A lost and ball. Here's Navon Reed on transition to Carrera. Then it takes it up with the dunk. That's boxer pride right there for you guys. Certainly is boxer pride. Making highlights in this game. Another foul. Blocking foul on Zenden. How about this dunk by Carrera? Um, this is that was a good block. That's a, that's just an incredible block by Tejon. Ooh. Zenin correct. Ooh, Zenin, Zenin is just being so ooh off. That's just so offensive from the ooh. That was a great ball. That was a great dunk. A great dunk. A flush with authority. Bobby Duquette misses the free throw, second free throw. Diamond Blakely. Tajan Silva for three. Beautiful three. Nice shot by Tajan Silva. Beautiful three. What do you think of Tajan Silva's play so far? Before the game started, I saw him pregame shooting threes, and he was just making them wet like water. He was splashing them. So it only makes sense for him to make these threes in the game. Another rebound by Tajan Silva. But oh, and stolen. the boxers give up the ball. A nice shot by Nathan Bangadizu. That was a good mid-range shot. Here's Diamond Blakely. Navon Reed for Navon three. with the three, and he doesn't get it through. Rebound by for the Pioneers. And that's, a, that's a blocking foul. Nick Coles is upset. He's surprised. He, he wasn't the expecting ref, that. The refs are not on the boxer side today. The boxers are getting very upset. It's just looking slow right now. He's very upset about that foul. He had his hands up the whole time. Makes the first free throw. And doesn't. Oh, and Murray misses the first free throw. St. John's needs to start banging these free throws in order for them to come back in this game. That's one of the reasons why they're down by quite a much. Yes, they're quite not getting lot. them down. They're not getting them down. He's going to take his second one. And he gets that through. So it is an 11-point lead for the boxes. Diamond Blakely with a tough shot. 
in the paint. That's no good. That's going the Pioneer's way. That was pretty intense. It looked like it was on, it looked like it was the boxer's ball, but apparently it's going to St. John's. A, a, a bit of a tussle. Yes. Taking it up slow this time. Looking to create some space and make a play. Good defense by the box, and he's got the open three and doesn't get it in. San Fantello misses the three. Navon Reed. That was a good shot attempt at the end of the second quarter, and the first half is through. A pretty, a pretty good first, entertaining fast first half of the boxes. What did you like from the boxes, Nathan? That was a good. They ended off with 11 points in the lead. That is a good first half. Aggressive basketball. Some great highlights by Zinning Correa, Tejon, Navion. They, they all just, they all just destroyed in the first half. Yeah, they did destroy. What, did, what does St. John's have to do? They're kind of lacking a little heart a bit. Saint I think, I think the, um, the crowd and the Brockton aura is kind of getting to them. Yeah, St. John's. They're looking like they're looking very upset right now. They're not, they're not flushing in their free throws. They look, they're getting blocked every time. They're just not, they're not in that, not in the head. We're got, we just got in their head. It's a, it's a pretty, it was a pretty entertaining first half, and we will be back. You can't sit. Don't here. add her to the chain. It was just a joke. Why are you talking to me? Lame loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment. And consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. Thank you. We are back for second half action in Brockton High School. So Nathan, what, the, what does Brockton have to do? Brockton's already playing a good game. It's just St. John's. They need to get everything through. They need to get their game plan, their plays right, and then they can just see if they can go out with a comeback. But boxers, they're doing good. Aggressive basketball, physical defense is going good right now. Yeah, Brockton in white and St. John's in red. Second half action. Chris Bazil and Nathan Dutouche. Let's get it. This should be fun. Indeed. The two teams switch sides as well. TJ Power with the layup over Sonny Okumu. TJ Power looks like to be a good big man. Oh, boxers get it back. They almost lost the ball. Navon Reed. Marcin for three. Rattles Doesn't out. Doesn't get the three off. And it, it's off on St. On St. John's. Oh, no. St. John's gets the balls out on the boxers. Bobby Duquette. Deciding he wants to play full court press and give the Broxers a little bit of a a panic and a little bit of a, some some fatigue as well. Should be a foul on Sonny. TJ Powell with another basket. It is now an eight point game. Yeah. 
Marcinelle, Jason Starks. Trying to create space. Sonny with the, with the pass out. Ooh. A bad shot by Marcinelle. Rebound Sonny. Sonny still gets it in, but I don't think they're going to count it. Shuffles his feet, and it's a travel. I don't think Sonny looked like he went up offensively. He got the board out, and then he got the board, but they called it a travel. That it's shot tough. by Marcinelle. But Box is going to have to come back from that. But Sonny travels. A beautiful three. Good take the shot. That was a good shot. And Jason Starks, Nathan, he really wanted to hit one of those badly, huh? Indeed, yeah. He has a lot. He took a lot of shots, but he finally got one through. Sonny Stone with the by good. Mpulu. A good steal. Lewis Charles loses the ball. The boxes will keep the possession. That was a good three-pointer by, by the boxers. That was a good taken shot. St. John's goes up for the layup. And with the putback. That's Bobby Duquette. Tried to get it off Sonny, but doesn't work. Bang in the zoo with the with the mid with the mid range. He misses. Box is looking kind of box is looking kind of slow on defense. That was a good layup that he took, but he got the put back off St. John's. Box is looking kind of slow on defense right now. They're not really getting up that they want. As another turnover by the boxes. The boxes Box. got to get their heads in the game a little bit. Boxes look like they're falling apart. Looks like that hat. Looks like that break didn't help them at all. St. John's player wide open for the three, and he air balls. St. John's did not need that air ball. They didn't need it at all. Boxers looking to create space. Another, ooh, another careless play. Boxes are falling apart right now on offense. It's not looking good. It's a blocking foul. Nathan, the, the St. John's Pioneers really stepped up their <laughs> intensity a bit the second half. Yeah, it looks like off. that break worked very good in their favor. The box is looking to fall apart right now, but hopefully they can come back with it. Yeah. Blakely for three. Way off. Sonny with the rebound, and he gets it in. Onkunla with another shot. Stolen by Lewis Charles. Ooh. Oh, and it was off the foot of a St. John's player. That's crazy. Boxers right now. Boxers right now aren't really doing too well. That was a, now it's a timeout. Boxers are trying to get back into this right now. Marcinel, Marcinel over here. He's trying. He's looking very off. He's looking trying to make a comeback right now, making a play, trying to be a play, trying to be the playmaker of the boxers right now. Now both, both teams are looking to discuss it over. <laughs> Coach Bowen of Brockton High directing his duties, telling, uh, telling his players what he wants. So as the St. John's coach, Bob Foley Sr., About four, about 4.58 to go in the third quarter. This game could come back to being close if the boxers don't get up their defense and start making some more good plays. 10 point game.
Fox is creating space. They want to get a shot Blakely off with the floater, the and he no doesn't good. get it off, but he gets the rebound. And St. John's runs it up. Another it foul. It was a block, but, they got, but it was a foul on the boxers. It looks like St. John's will go to the line for two. But it did look like a clean block, but they still called it a foul. His, yeah, he stumbled very hard. Yeah, Navon Reed's body. And Bengan the Zoo just used his body against Navon Reed. Yep, but he's he gets, going to the line. The call. Yep, and he's going to the line for two. But he makes the first one. Bengan the Zoo makes the first one. It looks like so far they're making all their free throws right now. They're trying to make this game kind of small. Bangs the second one. There's Diamond Blakely. Jason starts for three. It's good. Ooh. Nice shot by Starks. From Steph Curry range, got that off. TJ Power, Power trying to work on Sunny, and it's a travel on TJ Power. Yep. Substitutions for both teams. That, that was an amazing three pointer from Stephen Curry range. He took that shot with a lot of confidence. No, no one really in the no one really on the boxes team wants to take a shot like that, and he did. Boxers looking to get the ball back. Jason Starks. Tajan Silva with the body into the paint. Misses the layup. And, ooh. Nice full court defense by the boxes. Full court press by the boxes. Let's go. The Pioneers break it. Here's the layup. Rebound, Tajan Silva. Starks for three again. No Starks, good. ooh. Starks needs to get hitting those threes. The layup is good. St. John's gets that layup, and it's looking like a lot of hassle from their coach right now. Bobby Duquette playing his heart out today. It's a 42-33 game with about 2.55 to go in the third quarter. Navon Reed blocked. Boxers not getting all their shots off, and St. John's are looking to come back with this. The game is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Rebound by Navon Reed. He's backing back on the offensive end. Blakely. Blakely for and an three. open three. No good. Doesn't make it. Rebounded by Lucas Infantello. Duquette with the shot, difficult shot, and he that makes was, it. Nice one. How do you think, what do you that think about that shot? That was a good shot, a difficult shot. St. John's looking to come back in it. Trying to get in the boxer's head. Jason Starks. With Another three. three. No good. And he doesn't get it. Coach Bowen did not want that shot at all. A long three. It's good. Takes that three. San Fratello with another basket. San Fratello, he reminds me of, a, of an NBA player by the name of Luka Doncic. He's doing good right now. And it's timeout. And just like that, it's a three-point game. That's crazy. St. John's is doing nice right now. That was a crazy shot, too, that St. That John's took. And Brockton kind of let up a bit in this third quarter. What do they have to do to regain that momentum? They need to get that fire that they had in the first half. They're not looking like they're getting the fire back. St. John's is looking like a completely different team right now. Completely different from what that, I saw in the first half. That what break is, worked good in their favor. That break, worked. That, that break did work good. 
We're not getting any. We're not getting any offensive plays from players like Zendin, Sunny. Speaking of Zendin, he's back in the game. That's probably what the boxes need. A smart move by Coach Bowen. I like that a lot. Indeed, Zendin may just be the Zendin may just be the star that the team needs right now. Three point game, 137 in the third quarter. And Coach Bowen went with a little bit of a defensive lineup right now. And here's, here's Diamond on the inbound. Diamond Blakely for the mid-range, no good. Doesn't make it. St. John's looking to come back. For three, it's good. He bangs the three. San Fratello for three. It's a 41-42 game. The boxes lead has been cut to one point. They were up as, by as many as 11. Here's the Santos. Carrera. Diamond Blakely, not good in layup. That's a good Silver rebound, misses. but he doesn't get it in. And San Patella for three, no good. Gets the floater in. Bangin' the zoo with the, with the layup. And just like that, the Pioneers got their first lead. Their first lead of the game, actually. Navon's gonna, Navon, Navon's gonna milk the clock a bit. Here's Reed, Reed. Reed with Navon the layup. Reed with that beautiful play. Beautiful layup. Beautiful play by Navon Reed to end the third quarter. It's a 44-43 game, boxes up one. Beautiful play, beautiful play. Navon milks the clock out and he gets a beautiful layup and that's true boxer pride right there. We really needed that play and now we're up by one heading into the fourth quarter. We really needed that. The spin. And Navon got his confidence just like that. That was an elite level layup, huh, Nathan? Indeed, that was like an NBA layup right there. I didn't didn't expect to see something like that in this game. That's crazy. No saying, no saying. Fourth quarter action, ready. Todd Robinson. Boxers are up by one. They need to make a play here to get up more. A foul against, I believe that's Owen Marrera. Yeah. That's three fouls for Owen Marrera early so far, late in the game actually. Todd Robinson. Tajan Silva on the drive. Bad decision by Tajan Silva. Recover! Recover! Todd Robinson for three. Wide open for three That's and good. he bangs it. That's good. Four point game for the Boxers. Boxers needed that three. They certainly did. Wide well, open wide at the open. three, kicks it out, and he bangs it. Charles Daniels for three. It's good. This is a very good game right now between the Pioneers and it's the Boxers. Turning into a good game. An NBA level type game. The and Santos for three. No doesn't good. get it off. That was blocked a, by a Dave beautiful Henry. block. Now here's Denny Carrera. He didn't see that coming Marcus at all. The Santos. 
Navon Na Na fakes the shot, Blue. pump fakes with the layup. No good. Rebound Zerk Carrera. It's a jump ball. Jump ball. That was a beautiful last two minutes that we just saw. That was good. That, that, those are some beautiful plays right there. And especially a good block by Navon Reed. That was beautiful. Pioneers did not see that coming at all. It looks like it just turned into St. John's ball. It is St. John's ball. TJ Power. Stolen by Navon Reed. Here's Reed. Navon going up. Lays and it up. he gets the easy layup. Gets the safe layup. Smart decision. It is a three-point game with, with about six minutes to go. For three. And he bangs it. San Francisco for three. This game is getting very close right now. This game's getting a little bit too close. The, the crowd is standing up on their feet right now as we speak. Todd Robinson for three. No good. And he doesn't get it through it. That was not Bang a good shot zone. at all. And the Pioneers are up by two. The late was good by Marrera. Intense game, intense game indeed. This is a certainly a good game. The Pioneers are up to 51-49. Navon with the ball again, looking to create damage. The Santos for three. Gets the rebound. Cajun Silva. Nice good layup, layup by Silva. Good layup. Wow. Clutch layup by Silva. That ties the game. With about five minutes to go. It's all or nothing here, last quarter. Bang in the zoo. And it gets the that shot. easy mid range shot. Navon Reed, patient with the ball. Carrera for three. Air ball. Carrera airballed the three. I think they really needed that. That's a very miss from Carrera, Nathan, huh? And yes. He needs, those. he needs to get it up. And there's a lot of substitutions on the floor right now. The boxers, they really need to step it up right now. They're not making all their shots. They really need to just get it through. It's looking like a, it's looking like a slow game, but it's very close right now. That lay by Tajan Silva, a yes, nice play. That was a beautiful layup. As, as TJ Power connects on the layup, Diamond Blakely. Jason starts for three. No good. He saves it He's to Navon Reed. Navon gets that tough layup right he over. by Jason Starks. It's a two point game for the. St. John's Pioneers. Timeout on the floor for both teams. It's looking like an intense game right now. We need to get our shot. We need to get boxes need to get their shots up. They're getting a good, they're getting good saves. And Navon Reed's looking like the peacemaker right now for the boxers. Certainly, certainly the peacemaker. That's actually a good word. He's certainly looking like the peacemaker. I mean, he's really keeping them in the game. He's controlling the game. He's doing his job as a senior. Indeed. This game is very close right now. They got the crowd on their on their feet right yeah, the now. The crowd is certainly on their feet. I mean, I'm just surprised about this intensity from the St. John's Pioneers. I mean, indeed, they they, they came back that break. They really needed that break. That worked in their favor, like I said. Sonny and Kunlu is back in the game. Akunla. St. 
St. John's on the inbounds. To Duquette. To Duquette. He'll take it. A difficult shot. No good. Retained by five left on the shot clock. Block. And it was a block by the boxes. Two seconds left in the shot clock. St. John's need to make a quick play right now in order for them to get a shot off. It's looking pretty slow right now for the St. John's as Sonny gets that easy block. And it's an air ball, St. John's. Rebound by Lewis Charles. Here's Diamond Blakely. Lewis Charles for three. And he is Marcino fouled. Marcineau gets the foul and he goes for three at the line. And Marcineau, these are two big free throws for Lewis Charles. He, he has to make these. Misses the he first. Misses the first. The boxers really needed that right there. There's only three minutes left in the game. He has to do something. You got to get one of them. And he gets Makes one the of second. them. And this is the tie of the game. He can tie it up right here if he makes his free throw. And he, he gets it in. 55 all with about 3.30 remaining. May the best team win. It's a good one. Here's Duquette. TJ Power guarded by Reed. Power for the difficult shot. TJ wow. Power with that difficult shot. Wow. Those are some good dribble moves by him. Wow. Looked like he shook up the defense a little bit. Diamond Blakely on the attack. Oh, Sonny. Cool. 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 Sonny doesn't get it off. Wasn't able to make it. For three. Sandy and he Tell gets it three. off. Now this is true varsity basketball here, ladies and gentlemen. A five-point lead for the Pioneers, 60 to 55. Very close. Navon Reed. It's Jason Starks for another three. No good. Jason Starks Bobby. is taking these threes and has not let them go. Not let them what in. Do you, what, do you think, what do you think of Jason Starks' IQ so far? Has Jason, it been the best Jason Starks' IQ has been good. He just keeps taking these threes and they're not going in. The boxers really need those. TJ Power. In the <laughs> travels. It was like a travel on the floor. Arguments on the on the floor. A loose ball that goes Brockton's way. Bobby Duquette cannot believe it. And St. John's is not happy with that call. Ref going over to talk to the St. John's coach. Looks like he calmed him down so he doesn't get a tech. Timeout, boxers. A timeout by the boxers. Fourth quarter coming down to crunch time. Two minutes remaining. Who needs, who needs the score on the floor for the boxers right now? Oh, man. This is a tough game right now. This is just, this is a crazy game. They all need to, every, every player on the boxes, they really need to contrib contrib contribute. They, they can't just be one player. They all need to get it off, especially Jason Starks with his threes. He needs to hit those threes. Exactly. If he hit two of those threes, they would have at least been up by one. They need to hit it. They Jason Starks has only made two three-pointers tonight. He needs to get it off. He needs to work on it. The tied faces of both teams is two minutes left in the quarter. 
This team, this St. John's is really looking nice right now. TJ Power is just make it. Oh, just TJ Power is just doing good right now for St. John's. It was a great defense by Navon Reed, but better offense by TJ Power. Indeed. Now here's the boxers. A foul against the boxers, and it is going St. John's way. This is not working good for the boxers right now. Full court press. Full court trap. And they break and it easily. It has. It did not go. It did not go good for the boxers. A basket by Owen Marrera. They're trying to go fast. They're trying to get some points off. Navon Reed. Uh, Navon Reed does not get it off. There's TJ Power. This game is looking to get out of the box's reach. Sanfantello on the drive. He falls. But another basket by Owen Marrera. Owen Marrera is having himself a ball game today. Indeed he is. St. John's players, they're doing good right now. TJ Power especially. He's working Sonny up. Cool and Sonny tries to get it back. And he doesn't. He draws the foul. St. John's is looking good right now from the inside. They need to they need to get it off. Full court press is not working good right now for the boxers. That was Owen Marrera on the layup. On Kunla for the free throw. Misses the first one. And here's Okunla's second free throw. He makes it this time. Sonny gets it. Pioneers up by eight. Owen Marrera. St. John's holding the ball. Playing smart offense. Bang and Dazoo, fouled by Diamond Blakely. There's a lot of help offense coming from the boxers right now, and it's not really working good for them right now. What did you think about the boxers' confidence that just slipped away from them? They had their confidence in the first half, and it's looked like it's coming away. St. John's is looking to create some space right now. They're getting the boxes confused right now. Bobby. A nice block by Nkunda. There's Lewis Charles. Marcinelle picks it right back up and he it's traveled. a travel. Stolen by Lewis Charles. Here's a good Diamond steal Blakely. by Marcinelle. Navon Reed, Reed with a difficult three. No good. The boxers get it right Diamond back Blakely with a three. three and no doesn't good. get it. Again. Get it over. About 10 seconds remaining, and this one. And this one's a wrap. This one looks like it Brockton did come into foul. the St. John's' favor, and the Pioneer St. John's take it. Pioneers take the game. The Pioneers win by eight, and tell me, tell me what you like from this game. It was a good one. It was a good close game. The boxes looked like they had it in the first half, but then the Pioneers took that break. They took it real, took it real well. They talked it over, and then they came back with an eight. Point victory, 64 to 56. That is a great, this is a great game. This was a great game by both teams. They played a heartfelt battle and it's looking great. And hopefully, hopefully the boxers can come back from this loss and take it into consideration. Yeah, the boxers must come back for this loss as, as I believe they're on the road their next game.
Well, as the fans leave, they're all disappointed in the boxers. The boxers tried their hardest to get it out. St. John still finished off the game strong and hard, and And that is a wrap here at Brockton, Massachusetts and Brockton High School as the, as the Brockton Boxers lose 56-64 to to St. John's Pioneers. It was a good one as St. John's just battled with playing with their hearts out the second half. It was a good game indeed. And that is it for me, Chris Bazil, and Nathan Detouche. We're Have a good out. evening, everybody. We are out.